because people people listening maybe don't know network effects. So so to, to define it, network effects just describes this phenomenon where uh, let's just take you know a language. If I'm the only person who speaks English, English is not very useful. Same thing with a telephone system. If I'm the only person with a telephone, it's not that useful. But now another person gets a telephone or learns English. Well, English just got more valuable. And then the more people that learn English, the more valuable English is as a language. And so it describes this phenomenon that every participant that joins the network makes the whole network more valuable. So it's like the opposite of like a popular nightclub where everybody who joins makes the thing sort of, you know, diminishes the popularity over time. Network effects typically describe that they, it gets more valuable at a square, basically, as an exponential, not linear. Now, and then if you think about it in other terms is let's say, let's say, let's look at Web3 as a network and a network of engineers, engineering talent, right? This is where, where it gets really interesting. Why is it exponential? Is because there are parts when everybody's trying to hire Web3 talent, right? We are, right. every single person I know is, right? And the actual pool of people who are capable of doing it is probably like a thousand. Right. And they're so, all multimillionaires who don't want jobs. <laughs> well, that, that, that's the point, is their <laughs> salaries and the demand for them is exponential. The demand for the network of those guys becomes exponential. Over time, there'll be millions of trained people and it becomes yep. the network effects. The overall space is very valuable, but the opportunity, that ramp, that's right. the single most important, interesting part of network effects. Right. The and the fact right. that you can own a share of the network. So even when the network flattens out and is now worth, I think, $200 trillion for the digital asset space, it's currently $2 trillion. That's 100x in market cap. That's huge. We've never had anything like this before. Right. Like when the, when the, first, when the information network was getting built out, which is just the internet, and it was pretty clear, like slowly but surely people were adopting, they were getting online and then stuff was getting built, stuff to do. And then everybody who was online made, made being online better because you could communicate with them or they might write a blog or whatever. The whole internet was getting better the more people that joined, right? That was a network effect, but you couldn't invest in the internet. Like you couldn't just invest in generically the internet. And so you had to pick, you know, certain platforms. And even then, how, how do you become an, let's say you believed in Amazon or eBay or whatever, you're only getting a slice of the total internet. And even then... They don't want, you know, the average person could not invest. And 